Hello and welcome to this short video on GMIT Libraries eJournals Finder Tool by me, Catherine Briggs. If you are looking for a particular journal or magazine from the library collections, use our eJournals Finder Tool. The tool, which is available on the library's homepage at library.gmit.ie, will locate journals in our collections, regardless of publisher or provider. This tool searches for journals at title level. Use search and find to look for journal articles. What's the difference between a journal and a journal article? Well, basically a journal is made up of journal articles or each issue of a journal is made up of a small collection of journal articles. In this video, we will look at the features of eJournals Finder, which includes search and browse. Let's go. Click on eJournals Finder. If you are searching remotely, make sure you log in for full access by clicking on hello guest at the top of the screen. Please log in using your GMIT email address and network password and it's bringing us to the browse page. Firstly, let's look at browse by discipline to see a list of titles within a selected subject area. So you can see here there's loads of different disciplines and next to each discipline you will see a number that indicates how many related publications are available in our collection. In this example, I'm going to see the titles that are available for my marketing. So I click on marketing. It's in alphabetical order with 342 publications. And here's my list of results. The first thing you need to do on the results page is click on journal under resource type. So only journals and magazines are displayed. Use the other facets in the left hand column to refine your results list further. So we have 234 journal titles under the discipline marketing. In this instance, I'm going to look at peer review journal titles only so I click peer-reviewed and the results page will update my result to 132 results. Now if we take the first result in the list the journal is called advances in consumer research. We need to click on the word full text to see what coverage we have access to and in which one of GMIT Library's databases the journal is indexed in. The journal is indexed in two of our databases depending on our subscription and licensing restrictions, you can see the coverage for each individual title. Then simply click on the database title with the best coverage for what you are looking for. As the years are the same, I am clicking the top one, which is the database Business Source Complete from EBSCO. When you click on the database, you'll be taken to the publication details page for your chosen journal, where you can either search within publication or browse all issues and articles. Let's look at search within publication. When you click search within publication, you will be directed to an advanced search screen where you can type in your keywords or concepts that you are looking for. In this example, I'm going to look for the phrase social responsibility. So I type in the phrase in quotations and hit search. Now we can see 58 articles on our screen. These articles are on social responsibility published in the journal Advanced advances in consumer research. We can see filters on the left hand side of the results screen to limit our results further if we need to or we can add some more keywords in the top search box. Here I'm going to limit the publication date so I simply replace the year under from. So it says 1976. The year will change depending on what results you have on screen and I'm going to say well I only want articles published since 2015. So I highlight the existing year, type in my new year and when I press return the results on the screen are updated. Now I have 15 articles that have been published since 2015 on social responsibility in the journal Advances in Consumer Research. And what can you do with the results? Well you click on the title of any of the articles to get more information or you click on PDF full text to read the article in full. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm just going to choose any one of these. I click on PDF full text and it should open on screen. Happy reading or saving or printing or citing. Remember to check out our separate video on using search and find for more information on these features. Now if we are looking for an exact journal title we can go back to the library homepage and choose eJournals Finder again. Remember to log in by clicking on hello guest if displayed. This time we're going to use the search box to search for an individual journal and I want 
want to look for the Harvard Business Review. When you start typing your words, you will see that autocomplete feature will display titles containing your search terms. And I want the Harvard Business Review. So there's five titles with the words Harvard Business Review. It's the top title I want. When your chosen title appears in the list, simply click on the journal name to run the search. Note, other search options include keyword, author, subject, or ISSN. Click on full text to see the list of databases from which you can view full text articles for this title. In this case, available in Business Source Complete, so we click on that database. Notice the coverage for this journal goes back as far as 1922. As with the previous example, when you get to the publication details page, you can search within publication or you can look at all issues and articles. I'm going to look at the latest issue and articles from the right hand side of the screen. Click on 2021 and the latest volumes and issues for this year are displayed. The latest at date of this recording is volume 99 issue 2. Click on this volume or issue to view the content. You should then see the number of articles within this volume and issue. As with my previous example, click on the title for more information or click on PDF full text to read the full article or save it, print it or cite it. You can click on the help link in the top toolbar at any time if you need it. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out GMIT Library's YouTube channel for more library videos and tutorials.